We're in Lodi, I think it's pronounced, Ohio, and we're at the log cabin shop. A lot of muzzle loading and other stuff here. A very well known place and anxious just to see what we can see. So if you're ever in Ohio in the little town of Lodi, come check out this shop. Well, I met them at the Friendship, Indiana, and uh, we thought we'd come out by and see what's here. So let's go. So the kids are after the free books. So we're gonna go inside and see what they got. Come on, buddy. Open this big door for me. Here we go. Oh, I like it already. Hi. Wow, looks like there's lots to see. Come on, buddy. You dropped your gun, huh? Come on in. Looks like there's lots to see. That's the biggest powder horn I've ever seen. It's huge. Oh, wow. All right, number one rule, no touching, okay? Oh, that looks cool. Come here and look back. Doesn't it feel like you're in an old, old building? Yeah. All the muscle supplies you could use. Yeah, look at that! What's that? Oh, pick it up, show it to me, pick it up. No, it's a kid's toy, but look at it. Is that cool? Try and see if it works, the action. How's this work? Pull back. Does it pull back at all? No. Cool. Now put that back. Yeah, those are. Now don't touch those. Well, let's look. Here's the can, and I want to see this first. Dad, for my Check birthday, can I have a bow and arrow? Put yourself next to the cannon so we can see how big it is. They've got everything. Tomahawks, got your Kentucky rifles. Dad, take a picture. Okay. Uh, here, look at me. There we go. So this is the kind of place you want to spend an hour or two in just looking around. Wow, that's the longest Kentucky rifle right there I've ever seen. Oh, look at the old canoe. Oh, yeah, this is what we live for. Come see stuff like this. Cool, cool, cool. This is pretty awesome. So I want to get to the point where I can put the camera down and actually look for myself, but I'm gonna have to show y'all what all they have. Oh, look at this. Come here, bud. they have here okay I'm gonna need, need some of this later a lot of guys like to build their own Kentucky rifles this would be the place to come and get all your pieces look at that lots of leather beautiful leather whole lot of leather goods. Ah, that wonderful smell of leather. Oh, that's kind of cool. This old trunk is awesome. Dovetail construction. Nice. There are lots to see here. Look at that old bear trap. Wow. How are you, sir? Good, yourself? Great. Oh, lots of old powder stuff. Look at all those. I feel like I'm in a museum. Wow. 
So there's more to see than I might have time to. I think they close in about an hour. But if you're ever this way, come on over. Come on over. Here is the founder of the log cabin shop. How cool is that? Lots of really cool items. Here's the old log cabin. That's neat. Here's your rifling machine. That's cool. Pause and read that if you'd like. This is beautiful right here. I've always dreamed to have a house with something like this and I could cook at the fire. That'd be so cool. So cool. Here's some old, some war bayonets. All right, well, that's about it. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, come check it out. Thank you, sir, for holding the door there. And one of the greatest signs I've ever seen. Warning, if you stole it, put it back. <laughs> yeah, put it back. So this is what the first guns were, Conrad, look at this. They put a little hand cannon in China. This one has Chinese on it. And you would load that like a muzzle loader and it was just a stick. And you touch it and it fire. So there's your first, there's no aim in that thing. You just hold and point. Look how it's not, it's kind of bent. I guess that lets you hold it down a little. Look at that. How cool is that? I see the swords. Look at the different size round ball. That's about 44 maybe. Look at that size. Boy, I'd hate to be hit with that. No wonder they amputated people all the time. Here's, here's some World War II guns, Conrad. Those are from World War II. This is so awesome. This is like coming to an antique shop slash museum. It's pretty cool. Look at all the Civil War stuff. <laughs> And they have some paper cartridges. I like that. Is that cool? You see the Civil War stuff? There? Dad, in this game, Look at the canteen. That's a wooden canteen. Dad, have you, guess ever seen, what? you ever seen a wooden canteen? Dad, guess what? What's that, buddy? Here's in a harpsichord. This war game. I'm not actually grabbing this stuff. But oh, I'm oh, oh. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that later. But look, there's an actual, actual carving cartridge box. I've just seen pictures and they sell kits of modern. That's an original from the war. I'm That's not so actually cool. grabbing the stuff just in okay, the game. Okay. All right. Well, there's so much to see and so little time. So we've got to hurry. Thank you. Thanks for recording, honey. I can't remember exactly what they call it. I saw something like <laughs> Yes, go look with mommy at the Indian stuff. Let her show you the bees. Remember the bees? Come here and get See this right here? These are moccasins. See how the tiny little beads? That whole thing is made of those tiny little beads. Those tiny little beads have holes in them. Oh, look at that! Is that Indian? Uh huh. So this is cool. So a lot of the modern ones that you can buy that are reproductions that are actually work like Pieta Uberti. These are the actual real ones. And I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that. Just got this one over here. But it's so beautiful to see them knowing they're over 100 years old. And the patina they get is just beautiful. See that Remington there in the ends? Just got one of those. And uh, it's just look at the Remington New Model Army. This is so cool. So I'd rather have a new one though because you can shoot it when they get old like that. 
you kind of get a little scared that it might blow up on you. So stick with the oh look, this is a beautiful. I've had two friends in my life whose parents passed down a sword like this. And and they had that at their house. It was always fun. Oh, this is so cool. There's an old pepper box. Just got one of those. Oh, see the box right there? I want to start making my own boxes like that. That's what I want to start doing. I want to start doing that too. Yeah. And you know what that is, right? I think it's like for hitting stuff. I don't know. What you use with the knife is you put the knife in and then you hit the end of the knife to split the wood. That's a big old thing there. Antique shop, man. This is so beautiful. Look, this would be 1817, 1816. When we come this way, we see Civil War. I wouldn't mind to have one of those for a reenactment, but that's a thousand a piece. <laughs> Just the, the reenactment. This is cool. This is cool. Hey, you like the spindle, Laura? That's pretty cool. <coughs> Spinning some, some stuff. All right. I just really, really, really like that fireplace. And let's let him in on the secret, Laura. What's the real reason we come to places like this? To wear him out, because he's running around going, pow, pow, and finally gets him to sleep. So go kick those, those bad guys. Go get them. Here's all the tomahawk stuff. And you've got a lot of good knife making parts. So, you got a lot of guys that make knives? Yeah. Okay, show me what else we got. Okay, got a lot of arrowheads, that's cool. A lot of work going on into that. Little flintlock. It is super long. I bet that thing's taller than me. Hmm. And here's the price. 